K-pop, short for Korean popular music, is a genre of music originating in South Korea as part of South Korean culture. It is influenced by styles and genres from around the world, such as pop, experimental, rock, jazz, gospel, hip-hop, R&B, reggae, electronic dance, folk, country, and classical on top of its traditional Korean music roots. The more modern form of the genre emerged with the formation of one of the earliest K-pop groups, the boy band Seo Taiji and Boys, in 1992. Their experimentation with different styles and genres of music and integration of foreign musical elements helped reshape and modernize South Korea's contemporary music scene. Modern K-pop, idol, culture began with the boy band H.O.T. in 1996. As K-pop grew into a subculture that amassed enormous fandoms of teenagers and young adults. After a slump in early K-pop, from 2003 TVXQ and BOA started a new generation of K-pop idols that broke the music genre into the neighboring Japanese market and continue to popularize K-pop internationally today. With the advent of online social networking services and Korean TV shows, the current spread of K-pop and Korean entertainment known as the Korean wave, is seen not only in East Asia and Southeast Asia, but also in Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, Latin America, North Africa, Southern Africa and East Africa, the Middle East and throughout the Western world, gaining a widespread global audience. The term, K-pop became popular in the 2000s. Previously, South Korean pop music was called Guru. While, K-pop is a general term for popular music in South Korea, it is often used in a narrower sense for the genre described here. In 2018, K-pop experienced significant growth and became a power player, marking a 17.9% increase in revenue growth. As of 2019, K-pop is ranked at number 6 among the top 10 music markets worldwide according to The International Federation of the Phonographic Industries, Global Music Report 2019. With BTS and Blackpink cited as artists leading the market growth. In 2020, K pop experienced a record breaking year when it experienced a 44.8% growth and positioned itself as the fastest growing major market of the year. The first known use of the term K pop occurred on Billboard in the October 9, 1999 edition at the end of an article titled S. Korea to allow some Japanese live acts, by Cho Hyun Jin, then a Korea correspondent for the magazine, which used it as a broad term for South Korean pop music. Cho himself, however, is not sure if he coined the term, since some articles stated that the word K-pop was already being used by the music industry. Insiders, even though he had never heard it personally, although K-pop generally refers to South Korean pop music, some consider it to be an all-encompassing genre exhibiting a wide spectrum of musical and visual elements. The French Institute National de l'Audiovisuel defines K-pop as a fusion of synthesized music, sharp dance routines and fashionable, colorful outfits. Songs typically consist of one or a mixture of pop, rock, hip-hop, R&B, and electronic music genres. Management agencies in South Korea offer binding contracts to potential artists. Sometimes at a young age, trainees live together in a regulated environment and spend many hours a day learning music, dance, foreign languages, and other skills in preparation for their debut. This, robotic, system of training is often criticized by Western media outlets. In 2012, the Wall Street Journal reported that the cost of training one Korean idol under SM Entertainment averaged three million United States dollars. K-pop is a cultural product that features values, identity and meanings that go beyond their strictly commercial value. It is characterized by a mixture of modern Western sounds and African-American influences with a Korean aspect of performance. It has been remarked that there is a vision of modernization inherent in Korean pop culture. For some, the transnational values of K-pop are responsible for its success. A commentator at the University of California, San Diego has said that contemporary Korean pop culture is built on transnational flows taking place across, beyond, 
and outside national and institutional boundaries. Some examples of the transnational values inherent in K-pop that may appeal to those from different ethnic, national, and religious backgrounds include a dedication to high-quality output and presentation of idols, as well as their work ethic and polite social demeanor, made possible by the training period. Modern K-pop is marked by its use of English phrases. Jin Dal Yong of Popular Music and Society wrote that the usage may be influenced by Korean Americans and or Koreans who studied in the U.S. take full advantage of their English fluency and cultural resources that are not found commonly among those who were raised and educated. In Korea, Korean pop music from singers or groups who are Korean Americans such as Fly to the Sky, G.O.D. Rich, Yu Sung Joo, 